Hey everybody, we are getting kicked off here with the second whiskey in our Distillery Wars shootout, which is going to be Buffalo Trace. Let's get into it. Hey everybody and thank you so much for joining me today here on Blind Whiskey Reviews. Today we are announcing our second whiskey in our Distillery War series. If you didn't catch the announcement for the first whiskey, it was the Knob Creek which is representing Jim Beam. But if you want to catch the video where I kind of describe how this whole thing is going to work and what I'm doing here, I will link it up here so you can check that out. That's where I released that we were going to be featuring Knob Creek. And today I'm announcing we will be featuring, from its namesake, from the Buffalo Trace Distillery, Buffalo Trace. I mean, I don't think any other whiskey for Buffalo Trace really made sense based on my criteria that I had for these whiskeys. And again, if you want to hear what those criteria were, you can catch them up here in the announcement for the Distillery War shootout. But this whiskey fit the bill. There were a couple other ones that, that could have squeaked in there, but I really just thought you need to use the whiskey or the distillery's namesake whiskey to, do, to, to feature as their workhorse whiskey. So this is the one we're doing. I'm really excited to use it. I've always been a big fan of Buffalo Trace, as many of you guys know, and obviously the whole world is at this point big fans of Buffalo Trace. So I'm excited to see how this one fares among the other whiskeys selected in our Distillery Wars shootout. So let's not waste any more time and get this bottle cracked open. So like I said, the, during the rest of the, this week and next, we will be releasing the rest of the whiskeys that will be featured from the other large distilleries in this shootout. My little foil tour. Oh well, let's see if we can still get it. Maybe not. Maybe not. Anyways, we'll be releasing the rest of the whiskeys that'll be featured in the Distillery War shootout. Moderate pop. Still using a real cork. And I'm very excited to announce those. Again, I sourced a lot of these whiskeys from um, recommendations made by you guys in a couple of posts on Instagram and Twitter. So if you're not already following me on Instagram and Twitter, Make sure you're doing that. That way you guys can catch and put your, your two cents in when I make these announcements uh, on the social media platforms. Um, I'll have those put across the bottom of the screen here in case you guys haven't caught them before, but that's that. So let's do a quick nosing and tasting notes on this. Very standard Buffalo Trace nose. You've got that, that light fruit, that apple, that pear. Not as red and juicy as sometimes Buffalo Trace whiskeys are. There's a little bit more spice here. A little bit more vanilla. It smells great though. Let's get into it. Cheers. Yeah, it tastes like a very standard neck pour from Buffalo Trace. For me, Buffalo Trace comes off really fruity from the first pour, and that's how this whiskey is tasting right now. And as I mentioned in the previous video, I really want to make sure these whiskeys are all you're getting the experience with this shootout that you would get during a normal drinking through the bottle experience. So we're going to let this whiskey sit open for a couple of weeks. I'm going to drain out another couple ounces out of this bottle after this. Then we'll let it sit for a couple weeks. Then we'll pour all the samples for the shootout. So like I mentioned before, we're trying to eliminate all the variables that would uh, give a whiskey an advantage or a disadvantage. And we really want the whiskey to be the same throughout the entire series, which is why I'm pouring the samples all at once, even though we may not use all those samples for the shootout. Nice, rich flavor, very smooth over the palate. Not a lot of heat, it is a 90 proof whiskey. So you're not getting a ton of heat from this thing, but you're getting a reasonable amount of flavor. Nothing crazy. Um, I don't think Buffalo Trace is necessarily like God's gift to whiskey. I think it's it's solid, it's good, and at the price point, you know, this whiskey goes for right about $20. So it's kind of a, a tough whiskey to beat, but and it's a great workhorse. And it's a really good whiskey, I think, for making drinks. You know, if you want to make an old-fashioned, this makes a really good old-fashioned. You got a little, you're left with a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of oak, a slight touch of spice. This whiskey for me has never been incredibly spicy. Um, you got a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of like an herbal character, and that you're definitely left with a slight bitterness from the oak. So, good stuff. Really excited to see how it fares in this shootout process. Um, for these whiskeys that I'm releasing and doing the no time, like the present reviews, I'm not going to do the extended review where I give it a little bit of airtime and see how it is later because we're going to be getting tons of that coming up in the shootout itself. So thank you for joining me. 
Hopefully you'll be able to join me for the rest of these release announcements coming up, like I said, the rest of this week and next week, and then we'll be right into the shootout. I'm really excited. I hope you are too, and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Thank you.